Hey guys, Demo here, bring you thoughts and impressions about Battlefield 1, and let's dive into it! Battlefield 1 is a game that's currently out for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, and so far the game is performing exceptionally well. It's just so fun, my god, I don't want to go to work, I just want to play Battlefield 1. The leveling system is pretty in-depth. It encourages you to play the objective, which most games, honestly, like, oh, you kill, you get the objective, you get some points, no. Kills and objective is the main thing. You score the objective when the squad leader is like, hey, capture C, you get those points, and that is great. I like that dice. Fantastic. Now, Battlefield 1 does come with 10 maps out the box. 10 maps, which some are better than others, while some are just like, my god, this is just horrible. Which I would say is the Suez Canal because it's just nothing but mortars, gas grenades, and people just firing fucking rocket shells. Okay, not rocket shells, tank shells at you. My mistake. There weren't really rocket launchers in World War One yet. Now diving into the meat of the game, is the game really worth it? Well, that really depends on how much you're looking to spend, honestly. If you just want the base game, yes, it's pretty worth it. The base game is only $59.99, which is not asking for much because it gives you a solid amount of content. The content is worth the price, in my opinion. I mean, worth the price because you only have, honestly, three game modes. You have campaign, you have multiplayer, and you have operations. Operations is pretty much the newest game mode coming from DICE in the Battlefield series, and by far it's the greatest addition we've had since ever. It's great. It's like a story mode and conquest mixed into one. They had like a beautiful baby, and you just be like, mmm, babies. But jokes aside, conquest is pretty much, you know, the same. But with a little bit of a rush feeling to it. Operations is where you must attack two objectives, or three depending on the map, and hold those objectives until they're both fully capped. While you have a certain amount of lives, and once those lives up, you got pretty much two more tries after that. Now, after those two tries are up, game over, that's it. Whoever wins, wins. If the defending team wins, good job. The enemy team that's attacking wins, great job. Now, the thing about operations is that whenever the enemy teams lose the first attack and the second attack, they get a um, behemoth vehicle. That can be the Dreadnought, which is, alright, you might get the train. Yeah, it could be a little bit better and then a blimp, which, in my opinion, is the most powerful out of all of them because you have six weapons and you can also launch mortars from the driver's seat, which, my god, the area of effect is just so damn large. Holy shit. Ugh. Now, when you dive into the regular multiplayer mode, Conquest is practically the same, with the score system actually encouraging more objective taking. My squad leader be like, attack objective C, I cap that, I get about 600 points, uh, 500 from capping objective, and 100 just for Unzi listen to the squad leader. And I'm just like, my god, I'm ringing up faster in this Battlefield game than I did when Battlefield 4 first came out. It took me about two weeks with on and off time playing it. In Battlefield 1, I got to about level 30 in about what? I don't know. What, four days? And that's what on and off gameplay still? Because I was plenty objective, getting the kills, and supporting my team. Now, if you dwell into the classes of the game, the classes are all exceptionally fine. Some do have their pros and some do have their cons. Now, honestly, the best pro of all the classes would be the assault since it can handle nearly any situation with vehicle and infantry. And then you have the medic, which can handle infantry and also support your team members. Then you have the support, which can handle infantry a hell of a lot more than the medic, but also lay down that ammo whenever someone is like, I need ammo! I need ammo, loss! And then you have the scout, which is great at taking out infantry, damaging some vehicles, and scoping out the battlefield for your team, where you're not sure if objective is honestly safe or not. 
and so forth. All of them feel balanced. Now, each class does have different, vari uh, different variations of their weapons, and all weapons feel good in each type of situation. Some perform exceptionally in close quarters, while some perform better at long range, while some perform better against certain infantry. Now, there are elite classes like this one. I'm using the Sentry class, which by far is my favorite out of the elite classes. You have the Tanker, the Flamer, the Mechanic, and the Calvary. The Calvary is by far the most broken as for mechanics, because that fucking sword on the horse will damage the shit out of you in a heartbeat, my child. Now, overall, Battlefield 1 is pretty clean. No major bugs, no major problems, not hit detection, depending on how laggy the server is, is hit or miss. Then you have the variation of maps. Variation of maps are pretty nice. You got vehicles, you got, you got tanks, you got planes, you have boats, and you have trains, you have blimps. So, the vehicle variation is pretty good. I have no problem with it, and I like it. It's not like Battlefield 4 where everything was pretty much just stuff in there and into one complete package. You're just like, there's just so much. So much to deal with. So much going on. Should I? Oh my god. What did I do? Oh my god. I don't know what the fuck to do. Uh, I, I want to use this weapon, but holy shit, it's not good in this situation. No, Battlefield 1 does that a lot better. They even tell you what the weapon feels good. I mean, what this weapon does better in each situation. Some is better with uh, aiming down sight. Some is better for um, hip firing, while some are better just for general use. And you have the jack of all trait weapons, and you just have some great weapons overall. Oh god, the weapons. Now that's pretty much it for my thoughts and impressions. Sorry for the video. I just made this in a quick rush because I just like I just want to get people to know about this game. As always, guys, stay weird. It's your boy Weird Demo. If you feel the same way, leave a comment down below and let me know. And you guys, you know what to do. Stay weird. Demo out.